When we made our video the other day on doing this scribe, I had showed this scribe as an example, and it has a considerably different twist. Somebody is asked to see how this reverse twist is done. The reverse twist is really pretty simple. It looks complicated, but it isn't. It just takes a few more steps and a little more attention to detail than a regular twist. Now hopefully you've already made your twisting wrench from the video we did the other day. So let's go ahead and get some material hot. I'm going to use half inch square bar for this. No particular length, no particular measurements. This is just a demonstration in how to do that reverse twist. So the twist we did the other day changes direction three times. It's twisted half a turn one way, half a turn the other way, and half a turn back. The key to this is that you have to cool the previous twist before twisting the second twist, or you have to heat the second twist up separately. But if you have heat in both places, you're just going to untwist the first one. So it's really not very difficult. You just have to be aware of that. And you can either quench this in water to cool it, or you can heat this up with a torch, or maybe some combination of both, which is probably what I'll do. So like I say, this is pretty darn simple. We are going to twist fairly short, half a twist one direction, and then we'll need to twist half a twist back the other direction. It's a little bit cold, so I'm going to heat that up again. It doesn't hurt to straighten it right here in the device, corner to corner, not, uh, not on the flat or you'll squish your twist a little bit. One solution to keeping the heat where you want it is to simply cool the entire first twist so that it has no heat left. And we just locked that back in the vise right where it was. But now we want to twist it the opposite. Now you'll see that that isn't twisting evenly because I've kind of cooled my shoulder. This is a great place to just heat that up with a torch until it's about the same heat all the way across here. But you can go back and heat that in the forge and just try not to cool as much of it in the water if you don't have a torch. The torch is just easy because you get to do it right here in the device. A little bit heavier torch tip would certainly help. So there's my half twist that direction. Now I can just heat this next section right with the torch if I want to. You can say a heavier torch tip wouldn't hurt. I've been doing some welding projects so I've got a fairly small tip in the torch. good news is it doesn't really take a lot of heat to make a twist. Remember, twist it one way the first time, opposite way the next time, and back to the same direction as the first one for the third one, and you can just keep repeating that, however many you want. I think three or four looks pretty reasonable, more than that starts to be a bit much, but that's purely up to you. Twist that back the other direction. And again, we can straighten that up lightly in the device. The 
There is our reverse twist. Now a very handy tool when you're doing this kind of work with a torch is one of these economizer or gas saver valves. You've got a pilot light, you just leave the torch set, hang the torch up on the, the hook, it turns the valve off. I need to adjust this valve so it goes off a little bit quicker, but it does go off. Now another way you can straighten a crooked twist without damaging the, the edge of the material is on a wooden block with a rawhide or brass mallet. And you can do this hot up to a point, although the brass is going to leave some marks. It's going to leave a little bit of brass behind if you're hot. You can use a lead mallet if it's cold. But twists, if you get them fairly straight to start with, you can do most of the straightening cold. This last step I don't always do with every twist, but I think for this reverse twist it really helps it stand out. And just highlight those corners with a little bit of sandpaper so it shines a little silver. You get that little silvery line then. And it doesn't take much, this is just a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper that I'm using. And that really makes that twist stand out just a little bit better, makes it a little bit crisper. So that's pretty simple. It's not a project, it's just a technique. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this bar. It's a piece of half inch bar that is 33 inches long. And later we'll make something else out of it. Maybe we'll make a poker out of it. That'd be an interesting place for a handle on a poker. Put a little ring up here, taper the shaft out. We'll find something to do with it. It's a real nice ornamentation and hopefully the gentleman that asked how that reverse twist was done is watching the video and had his question answered. Everybody else, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, head out to the shop, make something, and we will see you later.